What's up guys? Welcome to the video. I am currently sat in my garden. It is a glorious Saturday. As I said in my last video, the problem was I had bent handlebars. Like proper skew with they are, as we say in Bristol. And um, luckily enough, got a new set from New Gen. So, and also got some uh, new grips from Rock Bros. And so we're gonna fix this, or I'm gonna fix it off of camera anyway, because um, me, I didn't charge my GoPro. So um, yeah, I'm gonna give that a fix and then we're gonna go for a ride. See you in a bit. See how bent they are. So this is um, if they're straight, using the lines of the bench. Look at that. Absolutely battered. Looks just kind of sad there, doesn't it? Time to put the new boys on. Way <laughs> we're back on the bike beats. Absolutely mint. And as you can probably see, got my new straight bars on. Got my new straight bars on. Also put new greenish and black grips by Rock Bros on as well because the grips were absolutely battered. We're coming up to the scene of the crime. Oh, eerie and dark down here. It's like it can remember the times. So, yeah. Right here is where I have my accident. And you can actually see scratches there on the floor. From where? And there. Look at that scratch. That was me. That was this bike going through there. So yeah, lucky I had the helmet on. On the helmet, guys, you're probably looking and thinking, helmet doesn't to look too bashed up. And that's because this isn't the same helmet. I reached out to, I reached out to Thousand, who make these helmets. And um, I was like, hey, I was like, I've had my helmet now a couple of months. Love it, absolutely glorious helmet. And um, they contacted me back. And they contacted me back and were like, we're very, very sorry to hear that you had an accident, but we're very, very happy to hear that you were wearing a helmet. And they, and what I quite liked is they said wearing a helmet, not our helmet. They were only concerned that I was wearing a helmet. Um, and they said, and they said, oh, we do, our policy is if you have an accident with our helmet on, um, we'll give you a replacement for free. So... I was like savage, so they asked for my address, all that kind of stuff, and a little breakdown of what happened. So I told them my sorry tale of sliding off and wrecking my knee and my ankle. And they sent me a new one, and it arrived a couple of days ago. And here it is, brand spanking new, lovely. So I got a nice new helmet, new handlebars, new grips, new pedals. So it feels like new. The only thing that I haven't done yet, but I will, is fix this, fix this crank. Is fix the crank because I can feel it when I pedal that it's not quite straight, but it wasn't, it wasn't completely destroying the riding experience. Just need to stop so I can pop my vape in my bag, otherwise it is gonna fall out my shorts my shorts. But yeah, it isn't super affecting the ride quality, so I'll do that at a later time. Do that. 
do that at a later time and just enjoy it again after such a long time because the last time I rode, I rode this bike was when I did my last video so even for me it's been a week or so um, and that's just because the handlebars were the handlebars were just so so bent that it just made riding a horrible it just it just felt horrible it always felt like you were going to fall off because they were in the wrong they were pointing it in the different direction to what you were riding in so yeah that was great So, back now on the bike. The ankle is still hurting, but it doesn't hurt when I ride, so I'm taking the positives in that. But back out on the road and should be back out riding on the regular, to be honest. Also, one thing I did swap, and now I'm looking at it, I was like, did I swap it or didn't I? But this, the, the throttle, used to be on the other side of the brake, and I always felt like I was stretching a bit over like that. So I've actually swapped them round, and it feels a lot more natural. Well, when I say it feels a lot more natural, I feel, I say natural for the bike because the idea of having a throttle on the left side still a bit weird for me, not gonna lie, but I'm used to it now. How nice is the cycle track now in, this, in the summer? Look at this. <laughs> this is absolutely stunning. All the flowers are out. It's great. What I've actually done as well is I've actually leaned the handlebars a little further towards me to give it even more of a cruiser feel. Lend the handlebars a little closer to me, give it even more of a cruiser feel for me, so I can lean a bit further back. I'm not sure if I like it yet because I did say in a couple of my last videos I really did like the seating posture of this bike. I really did like it, so I may switch it back. But I thought I'd go out on a nice ride, do some filming for you people, and give it a little test. Um, I don't know if it's not because I haven't been on this for ages, but it feels fast, like really fast.
yeah, it just feels so good to be out making content again. It just feels it feels so much better. I hate it. since I got this bike, I can't stand being inside. The, the only time I want to be inside is when I'm editing videos for this channel. Um, otherwise, I want to be on a bike. Yeah, I got an email the other day. The other day came through, and it was like, "Congratulations on reaching 25 subs!" And I was like, "25 subs!" I was like, "I can't believe that 25 people want to hear me waffle about cycling." Um, but it felt good. Thank you very much. If you are one of those 25, if you want to be the 26, hit the subscribe button. Um, but yeah, that felt pretty cool. Like my idea, like a load of you have been commenting on the videos and I try to reply to every single one and I'm pretty sure I have. Um, because the thing is, at the end of the day, like I say all the time, this channel's not about me, it's about you guys. Flywood just went in my mouth. So if I don't reply to, the, if I don't reply to your comments, what does that say? So yeah, just trying to raise the community and I think as well raise the community for this bike and other electric bikes because as everyone knows there's quite a big Super 73 community um, so it'd be cool if we had a massive new gen new gen 345 community you know what I mean um, and that would be that would be lit Mate. So, yeah. Cheers. cheers guys. Thanks very much, cheers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cheers guys. some ride out. Like that would just be dope. That'd be 
can all meet up. I don't care where it is in England. We can all meet up, go out for a nice ride. Probably get some like t-shirts printed and stuff, you know, an electrical sermon, and all that kind of stuff on it. And just go and have some fun somewhere. But that's like my long-term goals for the channel. My short-term goals. Shaking his head. No tay. No tay. Or prick. simple so I want to be able to at least put one video out a week I want those videos to be engaging or informative or you know anything that I can any good adje ad adjective I want and then in August I'm going to be the right Sorry guys, I had a flat tyre then I was about to go I was about to go mental I was like, I've just fixed up this bloody bike But yeah, so anyway Now that slight panic's over What I wanted to do Is in the short term, in August, I'll be the ripe old age of 33. I know you can't, you wouldn't believe it, would you? I look about, I look about 18, right? I'm about 18? Yeah. Um, so I'll be the ripe old age of 33. And we're in May now, so that gives it three months three months to get to my birthday and um, I love 50 subscribers 50 subscribers by my birthday I'd be happy as Larry honestly that would be really cool and like I'd rather have 50 subscribers that you know get involved write in the comments like the videos all that kind of stuff get involved than a thousand that don't watch so the number limit is not as big as the engagement limit because I want to I want to talk to you folks I want you to be part of the channel you know what I mean so yeah there are my short-term goals for electric awesome Guys, that's cheating. <laughs> cheating who? I'm not in no competition. Who am I competing with? 
What a dork. Cheers guys. So folks, that is a wrap. Um, so yeah. Not super late today, just discussing new handlebars, goals, all that kind of stuff. But as always, I hope you're all doing well. And I'll see you in the next video. And remember, stay awesome.